What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, it's Drakesy back again with a brand new squad builder on the channel. Today's squad builder is going to be a best possible Brazil squad builder, so it's one that's a bit interesting, it's going to be a higher rated squad than the usual. I really want to get into it, I can't wait to build this one, but like, just quick mention before we do do this, uh, as of recording this video, we are near the beginning of FIFA, so certain cards may have not come out just yet, and certain cards like ones to watches might have not been upgraded if they have by the time you're watching this video in the future. So, at the end of FIFA, we will return to hopefully some of these teams and uh, see what they look like at the end of FIFA with all the upgrades and all the brand new cards added to the teams. But for now, this is the best possible Brazil, this is the best possible Brazil squad. If you do want to see what they look like at the end of FIFA, be sure to subscribe and then we'll do the updates at the end of FIFA. But without any further ado, let's get straight into building the squad. So speaking about ones to watch cards, this is one of the cards I had in mind and as we can see it is Edison, the brand new signing for Man City, the goalkeeper, he's 83 rated as of recording, he's got 1 star skill moves, 2 star weak foot, 81 diving, 87 reflexes, 76 handling, 82 kicking and 78 positioning, so for a goalkeeper it's a pretty good rating. Um, overall an 83 and some stats that kind of back that up, especially that 87 reflexes. Uh, so yeah, pretty good card overall and solid for the team. Moving up to the right back in this team and that's going to be Danny Alves, the brand new signing once again I believe for PSG. Is he brand new or was it the last transfer window? I'm not too sure but as we can see it is in fact Danny Alves, a fantastic player, 84 rated right back for Paris Saint-Germain now. Playing fantastic, I believe, out there as well. Although he's aging, he's still got the quality. Uh, three star skill moves, three star weak foot, 82 pace, 84 dribbling, uh, 81 passing, and then 77 defending are his key stats. Uh, physical and shooting could be a bit higher, but still not the worst stats I've ever seen on a card. He's a pretty good all round looking card, to be honest. Moving across to the centre back next to him, a partner in crime for national club and team as well you know club as well so they're playing both in national teams and for the club that they play for as you can see it's Thiago Silva for Paris Saint-Germain as well a rare 88 rated centre-back card this year always a fantastic rating a fantastic defender as well three star skill moves three star weak foot 72 pace 74 dribbling on a centre-back that's madness He's got 88 defending, 73 passing, and then 79 physical as well. So overall, a very solid card indeed. And that dribbling has really just blown my mind because I didn't realise how much of a good dribbler he was. And the guy partnering him is going to be yet another kind of quick dribbler defender, and that's going to be David Luiz. As we can see, Brazilian players are some of the best flair dribbling players in the world, and even their centre-backs are good at that. And this is David Luiz, he's got an 86 rated card, he's a rare goal playing for Chelsea. Um, he's got 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 70 pace, 71 dribbling, 84 defending, 74 passing and 81 physical. So, so far a very strong back line but it only gets stronger. So the final player to wrap it up at left back, I'm pretty sure you know who it is but it's going to be icon slash legend Roberto Carlos. As we can see this I believe is his highest rated card out of the 3 that he's got in FIFA this year. He's 91 rated on this card, he's a left back icon playing for Brazil, uh, 3 star skill moves, 2 star weak foot, 92 pace on this card, 81 dribbling, keeping that consistency of dribbling defenders in this team, uh, and as we can see he's got 83 shooting, 86 defending, 84 passing and 86 physical, making him an all round fantastic card, and let alone the fact that he's a left back, he can do absolutely everything on a pitch. Moving up to the centre defensive mid of this team, it's going to be yet another fantastic card. It's going to be Casemiro. As we can see, Casemiro's 85 rated. He's a rare gold, playing for Real Madrid. He's got two star skill moves, three star weak foot. To be honest, his pace leaves something to be desired, 62. Hopefully he gets an inform or two where he gets a bit higher pace, 
but as we can see, he's got 72 dribbling, 84 defending, 86 physical, but then 74 passing as well. His key stats are obviously his defending ones, but as I did say, hopefully he gets an inform or two to hopefully boost up that pace, making him an all-round stronger player. Moving up to the right mid position, as we can see, we have yet another Chelsea Brazilian player, Willian, on the right mid position. He's got an 84 rated card overall so far. He might get an inform. This guy's very good in real life, as we all know. He's a rare gold this year, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, 88 pace, 86 dribbling, 76 shooting, 81 passing, and then his physical not the best at 64, but still. Hopefully an inform or two can boost that up. But as we can see guys, a solid, solid card on the right mid position. Although it's not the highest rated card, still very, very good indeed. And jumping across the pitch to the left mid position, as we can see it's Neymar's ones to watch. As of now, this card sits at a 92 rated card. It also is a left winger card, so if you do build this team, you will have to convert him back to a left mid. But I'm sure if you can afford Neymar, converting him to a left mid is not going to be an issue of cost, because obviously this card is incredibly, incredibly high priced. But he's got 5 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot, 92 pace, 94 dribbling, 84 shooting, 79 uh, passing and then as we can see once again physical at 60, not the best but hopefully a few informs, a few better rated cards can boost this card up once again. Now we move up to the centre attacking mid and as we can see it is in fact Ronaldinho. Now this is not his highest rated icon card. To build the best possible squad we needed to use his second highest rated card which is this 91. I will flash up on screen his other one. This is his 94 I believe but this will be going where Neymar is and to build the best possible squad I needed to do this. Also, this 91 rated card is the one that everybody actually wants from Ronaldinho because it's a centre attacking mid uh, with fantastic pace. But as we can see, 91 rated icon card, centre attacking mid, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 91 pace, 92 dribbling, 84 shooting, 88 passing and 79 physical, just an absolutely incredible everything you want from a centre attacking mid, just all round amazing card. And the penultimate player into this team is going to be Ronaldo or, uh, or R9 as many people might know him by. One of the best if not the best striker to have ever lived as we can see. Absolutely incredible, incredible stats overall. 96 rated striker, icon card, 5 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot after FIFA upgraded it and patched it to make it 5 star, 5 star. As we can see, Ronaldo has got 97 pace, 95 dribbling, 95 shooting, 81 passing and then 76 physical as well. Absolutely outstanding card but still not the highest rated card in the team because we still have yet to see this card. Of course, I'm sure you guys knew who it was. It's going to be the legend that is absolute world class player, Pele. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Looking at his card this year, he's got a massive upgrade with the introduction of these three icon kind of cards. He's got three different ratings, but this is his highest one at 98. Um, five star skill moves, four star weak foot, 95 pace, 96 dribbling, 96 shooting, 93 passing and 76 physical. This is an absolutely outstanding team, incredible, incredible stuff to be looking at. But yeah, so far guys, this is the best possible Brazil team. With no doubts, this team will be getting a few upgrades and I will revisit it hopefully at the end of FIFA. But for now, this is the best possible Brazil team. I've been Drake. I hope you guys have enjoyed and see you in a bit.